G'day guys, it's Mark from Signature Camper Trailers and we're at the SCT HQ where behind me is the Malu. So the Malu is a 16 foot off-road hybrid camper trailer. It comes in three different external configurations. That's a manual lift pop top with gas strut assist. You've got an electric lift pop top. We also do a solid roof version, which is really cool if you've got that extra, uh, if you've got the capacity for that extra height. Internally, we do two different configurations. We do a standard Malu and we do a Malu Tourer. The one behind me here is a Malu Tourer, but we're gonna show you both of those configurations throughout this video. Right, so guys, this is a really, really cool and unique camper trailer. There's a whole bunch of stuff we wanna show you and I'm gonna run through the specifications later on, but let's cover off some of the really unique designs of this camper. And one of my favorite parts about this is the front storage locker. So starting at the front, you've actually got two nine kilo gas bottles, but it's what's in here that is really exciting. So let's open it up. With the assistance of a couple of gas struts, you have got an enormous amount of storage. So big storage locker here, you have a light built into the actual door itself, space for two jerry cans, but if you don't need to carry those two jerry cans, you can actually take them out and it's a fantastic place to store an extra tool bag, an extra generator, anything else that's sort of big and bulky in that you want to, uh, you want to keep out of the camper. And well, one of my favorite features, I'm a big fan of the barbecue when you're going out bush, you got your space for your WebEQ. And when you want to start cooking, it's as simple as rolling it out. Hook it up to the gas bottle, throw your snags on, and you're done. Now you obviously can't have a barbecue without a cold drink. So up the front here is your fridge. You've got space for a dual zone 95 liter or a fridge of your choice. In this case, we've thrown in the ever cool 95 liter dual zone fridge freezer. So all you gotta do, drop the door down, and then you've got up here your control panel with your readouts for your water gauges, a couple of switches for your lights, and a couple of your breaker switches in case you need to reset anything or turn your, turn your external lights on and off. So all we've gotta do, slide the fridge out, sits nice and low so you have really easy access to this fridge freezer, with, at the back, an extra storage locker. So you can throw in your extra case of beer or whatever else you want to uh, want to chuck in that's a bit bigger and bulkier and won't fit in the standard pantry. So anybody that knows me or has comes camping with me knows that I love a camp cook up. So let's go and check out the ultimate chef's kitchen. Starting up here, we've got three massive pantry sections. So opening up here, we've got each one fitted with a light. A big open area there so that you can get your big camp pots, uh, you know, some of those bigger items that you want to be able to throw in there. Throw them in a canvas bag, look after them, and they can all live in there nice and safe and secure. And then, obviously, the piece de resistance, your gourmet kitchen. And all we've got to do is slide it out. With all of your water and your lights power pre-plumbed in, you don't need to do anything but slide it out, drop the legs down, hook your gas up, and get cooking. So this is the same cooker that we use in most of our range and the reason that we use it and we've used it in this camper is it's just so good. So starting from here, we've got a four burner cast iron cooker. That gives you the capacity to cook a whole lot of things all at once. Throw it all on there, get your snags going on your barbie, your potatoes, your veg, you know, create a spag bowl. All of it can be done here, all on a fully stainless steel kitchen. You've then got your light. So the wiring for that light is all run through there and you've got a little switch here to turn it on and off. While we're here, you've also got a whole bunch of 12 volt sockets. So you can be charging things up, add extra, add extra lights or accessories or whatnot and all of them can be plugged straight into there. Your water is all pre-plumbed into this camper trailer. That means your hot and cold water, all done and dusted. All you need to do is turn the hot water on, turn your pump on, and then you've got a little mixer here, just like at home. Your water then runs through a drain and basically out, and you can put that into a bucket or the portable gray water tank that we give you as well. Obviously, you've got to have a cutlery drawer. So nice big cutlery drawer in here, plus an extra big utensil drawer, and for other bits and pieces, it all sort of live in there. By the time you've actually set everything up that you need for your camp kitchen, you couldn't want for anything more. So while we're on this side of the camper, let's check out some of the other features of this. So your barbecue's on, kitchen set up. What we've got externally out here is we have your dual colored lights. So these actually run as a white light, 
as well as an orange light, and they're dimmable as well. You've got external speakers, but these speakers can actually be isolated from your indoor speakers. So you can have your best party tunes going on when the, when the action's happening, but then also isolate these speakers, turn it off, and then whack something on a little bit more subtle and just have it running on inside so you've got a nice bit of background noise. You have an external TV mount, so you can bring your TV outside. Being that we give you a fully smart TV with this camper trailer, means you can hook it up to your phone, connect it up to the internet, stream something, or if you just wanna watch the footy, or maybe the latest, uh, latest Dancing with the Stars or the block, you can have it all out here and sit under the stars and, and watch some TV. You've got a coaxial point to connect your TV up to. You've got 12 volt sockets, you got a 240 volt socket, plus obviously you got your, uh, your nice bright blue light so you can find your camper at night after you've had one or two glasses of wine. So before we move inside, this particular Malu is actually one of our new electric roof variation. So all I gotta do is press a button and raise it up. The Malu also comes in a manual roof variation, which means jump inside, lift the levers, and the roof lifts up with a bit of assistance from gas struts. And brand new in 2024, we've actually got a hard roof version. So exactly the same kitchen, same layout, same front storage locker, except instead of your roof uh, lifting up every time you want to enter the camper trailer, it's all fixed. So if height's not an issue, you want an even simpler way of living, then maybe the hard roof version is the model for you. What we've got to do next though, is we've actually got to set this camper up. So all I've got to do, press this little button and watch it raise up. So obviously when you're out camping, the sun's gonna be shining. So you've got, actually got an electric awning that fully comes out with a fully enclosed annex. So doors open, all I gotta do is press the switch in here and your awning is gonna come out. So before we jump inside and check out the true standout feature of this camper trailer, I wanna show you quickly the door and then some of these bits and pieces. So you've actually got a lockable fly screen section of this door, which has dual deadlocks in it. So you can close that up, lock it up, and you can leave it like that if you want the nice airflow running through. When we open the door up though, you've got this beautiful LED lighting all the way around the step. So that's what's at the door. Let's go and check out what's really cool about this camper trailer. So we've got one of our control panels here and what you've got here is your, basically you've got your water gauge for your grey water tank. So your grey water is your water that's running from your shower and your internal sink in the bathroom. You've then got your awning control switch. You've got your button so you can isolate your outdoor speakers from your indoor speakers. You have light switch for, uh, for your indoor light, uh, for the rear light on the rear of the camper trailer an isolator switch for the awning so you can actually shut off the awning completely to stop people accidentally pressing the button in and out. You've got button to turn the grey water gauge on and off, an extra button for your power socket out the back, uh, and as, as I mentioned before, a button for your speakers. So a couple of easy to access items that are relevant to what's going on around the outside of the camper trailer. Easy to access when you're outside and you just need to turn things on and off nice and quick. So this particular Malu is actually one of our Malu Tourers. What the Malu Tour includes is this little setup here, which is really, really cool. If you're doing more, you know, off-grid living, you want to do a big lap of Australia, or you just want the convenience of having a capacity to cook something inside, we've got it made for you. So starting up here, you've got your single Safari induction cooktop. Induction cooktop, definitely the way of the future. Forget gas inside camper trailers. This is where it's at. We've also then got your 65 litre Bushman fridge freezer. So you can throw a few bits and pieces in there, um, you know, have your milk in there and, and so on and so forth. If you're going just for the standard Malu, instead of this setup, you get additional seating. So just like we've got the seat on the right hand side, we give you another leather couch area, which means you've got two couches facing each other, opens it up, beautiful bit of space. And that means you've got all of the outdoor cooking facilities uh, to use at your disposal. So one of the things I love about the Malu, and it's why I love taking this away, especially if you're somewhere with a nice view, is basically the height of the bed. We've designed it so that it sits a little bit higher than your standard bed, which maximizes your storage underneath. But check out the view all the way around it. You've got big windows all the way around the bed, massive queen size bed. You've got over here, you've got all of your blinds, a block out, as well as fly screen. Plus, the benefit of the pop top is you've actually got windows all the way around here. So it lets the heat out, creates an enormous amount of airflow. 
basically just creates a beautiful environment to be in. Now, obviously storage is king. Anybody that watches the block knows that. So where have we put all the storage in this camper? Well, it's absolutely everywhere, but it's all hidden. So it's not in your face, it's where you need it. Starting down the side of the bed, you've got big storage lockers are here and here. And then on the other side of the bed, that opens up into the pantry area. So I can have some muesli bars or maybe even whip up some pancakes on my induction cooker. So leading down the end of the bed, well, we've got fans everywhere. So you've got that nice airflow. You've got reading lights mounted up here. You've got a stack of 12 volt sockets with both USB A and USB C connections. You've got 12 volt six sockets there as well. You've got your 240 volt supply. That's on both sides of the beds. So you can leave your phones plugged in at night. You can set up your CPAP machine, anything that you need. That end of the bed, easy access, easy to use. And look at the size of this thing. It's very, very bloody comfortable. So tall and closed storage, you've got these massive drawers underneath the bed. And this was one of the benefits of actually lifting the bed up is that we increase the amount of storage under here. And look at the size of this thing. So you have two of these drawers, both under here, both underneath the bed. You can put absolutely everything that you possibly need into here. But guess what? There's still more. If you've got the kitchenette package, you've then got additional storage in here. And then under here, you have a lot of your electrical systems, but we'll go into the electrics very, very soon. So if the storage underneath the bed wasn't enough, well, you've got this tool boy cupboard as well. And what you've got in here is three massive shelves plus some hanging space. So you can even pack your favorite blouse for, uh, for bingo night at the Ari. So one of the primary engineering design purposes of this trailer, and probably why you're actually watching the video, is the bathroom. So we were the first hybrid to introduce a separate toilet shower wet area for the ensuite section of this camper trailer, and it is enormous. While others have copied it, nobody's been able to repeat the success of this particular camper trailer. So what you've got at the back here is completely separate shower area to toilet area, and it's a fully sealed wet area, so it's separate from the rest of the camper trailer. So you've got your Tetford cassette toilet, a tried and trusted uh, toilet system for caravans and camper trailers for the year. You've got your internal sink, beautiful LED light up mirror, heaps more storage underneath the sink area. Plus then you've got that separate massive shower. You don't believe me how big it is? Head to one of our showrooms or one of the caravan and camping shows, jump in our shower, then jump in the rest. Trust me, you'll love it. Also then built into this camper trailer is a couple of other features. So directly above us on the roof, we've got a dust reduction system up the front, which is built by Dometic. We've got the Wabasto reverse cycle air conditioning system directly above us. And then leading down to here, well, this is basically where the powerhouse is controlled. So this camper trailer is running a lot of a lot of, lot of electrics, both 240 volt and 12 volt electrics. You've got your induction cooker. We've got lights absolutely everywhere, both internally and externally. You've got 12 volt sockets literally everywhere. Um, fridges, two fridges, you've got a fridge here. You can put an external fridge out there. So how do we control all that? Well, for starters, we run a really, really good battery system. So as standard inside the camper trailer is a 200 amp hour Enerdrive BTEC lithium battery. That can be upgraded to even more power if you need it. So if you want more than that, you wanna run 400 amps, you wanna look at 600 amps, let us know, we can build a package for the battery system that suits you. All of this is controlled though by the Red Arc Manager 30 battery management system. This is a really, really cool system. One of the unique features about it is, for one, it's Australian made. Red Arc's very, very well known, class leading, basically industry, industry leading um, electronics company, provides electronics to military, government, and obviously only the best camper trailers on the market. So you've got what's here is basically our Red Vision screen. What the battery management system does is it controls basically how the battery is being charged up, where that power source is coming from. So it looks after, not only will it look after the solar input from the roof mounted solar, if we add an external solar input, so you can run external solar blankets, it will also look after that. It controls the vehicle charging and it controls your 240 volt charging. It's also got what's called a green priority system. So if your solar is giving you more than enough power for everything that you want to be able to run, it will prioritize that solar power over any other charging source. Really incredible piece of system. The support on that is Australia wide, great warranty on it, and it's just simple, easy to use, all controlled from this little screen here. 
We're also then running in this particular camper trailer an Enerdrive 2000 watt AC transfer inverter. So what the AC transfer functionality means is that you can run all of your power points from that inverter system, which means you can control your uh, induction cooker, you can run other appliances purely by drawing power from your batteries alone. Now that's gonna draw a lot of power. So what the AC transfer function does is it means that you can hook up a 240 volt lead into the camper and that inverter will recognize whether you're running on shore power or you're running on battery power and it'll pick the appropriate power source for your needs. So really, really cool bit of kit, easy to use, set and forget, and you can't go wrong with a bit of Australian made stuff. You gotta agree with me, that is pretty bloody stunning inside. But let's check out some of the other features of this camper trailer or what's going on, on the outside. So at the back, what we've got is a couple of things. We've got another light up here, so you can see what's going on at the back. We've got a 12 volt socket, which is actually where we put the reverse camera, if you option that up included in the camper trailer. We've got dual spare wheels, You've then got this massive bar, which includes two huge storage lockers on the back as well. You can actually carry extra jerry cans in there if you need to, bearing in mind your weight distribution, obviously, as well. So that's a really cool setup. It's time to check out some of the, uh, what's going on on the offside of the camper trailer. So if you're like me and you're regularly in the uh, center of the outhouse, well, luckily we've got an external shower here as well. That's run through the hot and cold water. So basically outdoor, hot and cold water, you're at the beach, you're in the bush, you've been in the lake, you can whip that open and, um, and give yourself a quick clean up. Or what I like to do is use it for the dogs every now and then. You've also then got your toilet canister. So inside here, toilet canister for your tet for toilet. This is where all the nasties go. Whip it out, take it down to the dump point and get rid of all of that. Sitting in here is actually a battery box. So externally located, externally vented. You can see in here, we've got our big Enerdrive 200 amp hour lithium battery. Coming further down the camper trailer, this is your 15 amp inlet. So when you're at friend's place, you're at a caravan park, basically you've got access to 240 volt power, even running from a generator. All you gotta do is plug it into there and that will power the whole camper up to run off 240 volt. Over here is a coaxial input. So you've got a TV aerial on the roof, but you can actually add another TV aerial, say you're at a caravan park or somewhere where they've actually got access for a external aerial source, you can still plug that into there. Running down here, this is the flue for your Truma gas electric hot water system. So we haven't been into that, but the whole camper trailer is fully set up with a hot water system on board. The beauty about the Truma unit is, is it's an ultra rapid hot water system. It's got within it, 80, I believe it's a 12 litre or 14 litre tank, and that will heat up using both gas and 240 volt, depending on what your power source is on. So if you're plugged into 240 volt, the hot water system will entirely work off 240 volt, constantly heating up that little holding tank. So you've got hot water pretty much on the go whenever you need it. If you're off grid and you're out bush and you're, uh, and you're away from basically everybody and all of your power sources, gas bottle on, flick a switch inside, that hot water system will entirely run off gas. All you gotta do is take that cover off, just like that, and that'll let all the fumes and, uh, and everything out of the camper trailer when you're, uh, when you're using the system. Coming up here, this is relevant to your water tanks. So you've got 240 litres of fresh water holding carrying capacity. You fill that up from here, so all you do when you wanna fill the water tanks up, stick the hose in there, let the tanks fill up, and you've got a gauge on the other side to let you know how much water you've got. This here is a mains water connection. So again, if you're at friend's place, family's place, caravan park, hook the hose up to here, rather than relying on the pump that's in the camper trailer and the water tanks, you're gonna be running completely off mains water pressure. Hook it up, fix, set and forget. So we've spoken a little bit about storage, but why not cover it some more? So we briefly mentioned inside that we'd actually raise the bed to increase the storage capacity of the camper trailer. This is one of the places that we're actually benefiting. So if we open that up, what we've got here is a great little hidey hole for tools, other bits and pieces, hoses, all the things that we carry. But then in here is an enormous full length storage compartment for all of your poles. You can throw fishing rods in there, anything long that you want out of the way. It's nice and hidden, it's up, it's out of the way, and you've got an enormous amount of storage space in there. Up the front here, well, this is what we call our generator storage box, but you can use it for really anything. We open that door up, you've got a big slide out drawer here, and two smaller drawers here, which are perfect for hoses, extension cords, leveling ramps, uh, you know, all the other bits and pieces that we sort of carry when we go away with us, tools. Personally, I don't carry a generator, so I use this for my tool bag. 
And what's great about this camper, being a fully off-road camper, is all of these locks, all of these latches are lockable. They're all compression latches with rubber seals, automotive seals all the way around them, which means it's gonna stop water ingress, dust ingress, everything else. And again, another light. So what is it that's actually making this a fully off-road camper trailer? Well, for one, you've got these scrub bars all the way around the camper trailer. So if you are off the beaten track, say you're doing a fire trail and the like, these are gonna look after and help protect the camper trailer as you're going over some of those little whoop de doos here and there. Then we've got the wheels, brakes, suspension package. So these are running a 16 inch alloy wheel, full off-road mud tires. The reason that we run this particular tire is due to its load rating and its strength. We've got 12 inch electric brakes, which are controlled obviously by your car. And then we've got the suspension system. Come on, you gotta check this out. So down here, it might not be the sexiest part, but geez, it's important for an off-road camper. So starting up the top, the flooring is actually made out of a poly honeycomb flooring material, which means there's no timber in here. Nothing to worry about in terms of your water, water crossings uh, or swelling or anything else like that. You've got a full length steel chassis that runs all the way down both sides of the camper trailer. And on that is obviously your bracing and your, and your uh, strength, uh, which is where a lot of your water tanks and all those sorts of bits and pieces are welded onto. So you've got an 80 litre grey water tank there. You've got a 120 litre fresh water tank above my head and another 120 litre fresh water tank in front of the axles. Really evenly weight distributed there for your water carrying. It's also a massive amount of water, 240 litres, that's heaps. Then down here, we've got your suspension system. So you're running twin independent swing arms with Tough Dog shock absorbers. Tough Dog have done the engineering and the design for this particular camper trailer, which is gonna give you absolute peace of mind that when you go off the blacktop, you've basically got the best piece of suspension system engineered in Australia for this camper trailer. Down the front end of the trailer, so this is uh, a lot of the hardware involved in this camper. So you've got your ARC X0750 jockey wheel, big dual wheels, perfect for the uh, for the off-road environment. You've then got an external tap, so you can actually get access to the water tanks and, and your mains water uh, from here. Fill up the dog's bowls, clean your feet off, hook a hose up to it, give the camper a wash. You've also got your handbrake, whack the handbrake on when you stopped and hold the camper up. You've got your safety chains. You've got a breakaway system, and what a breakaway system does is it's a legal requirement on any camper over a specific weight. And if for some reason the camper trailer comes disconnected from the car, it'll pull that pin out and it'll actually engage the brakes and stop the camper in its, in its tracks, prevents it from sort of rolling down into someone's front field or whatnot. You've then got Anderson plug connection. This is how you're gonna connect up the camper to your car so that your car's alternator is giving charge to the camper through that Red Arc battery management system. Seven, uh, seven pin plug, which is for obviously all of your lights, uh, lights and so on and so forth. And then right down here is your tried and tested, Australian made and Australian engineered Cruise Master DO35. It's a full 360 degree off-road hitch, brilliant bit of kit. So let's talk about some of the specs that are actually built into this camper trailer. You've got 600 watts of solar built onto the roof. You've got 200 liters, 240 liters of fresh water. You've got two nine kilo gas bottles two 20 litre jerry cans, which if your weight's right, you can actually add an extra two 20 litre jerry can. You've got that enormous split ensuite wet room, separate toilet, separate shower, massive queen side bed, storage everywhere. Those storage drawers underneath the bed, were they not epic or not? You've got windows all the way around it. You've got a couple of different roof variations, a couple of different layout variations in terms of your Marlu standard or your Marlu Tura. You've got that huge electrical system, basically best on the market, Red Arc, Ener Drive, all equipped in together to run the power on this camper trailer. Air conditioning, dust reduction system, Tough Dog have looked after the suspension system. It's all of those components that have gone into this camper trailer and why this makes this particular camper so unique in the market. It gives you the best Australian-wide warranty and support, including five years on some of the Enerdrive equipment, either two to five years on the uh, Red Arc equipment, depending on what it is. Most of it's two to three years. You've got four years on the Tough Dog shock absorbers. That's unheard of in a suspension system. You've obviously got two to three years on the Dometic and uh, dust reduction system, your air conditioning system, all these things that are installed in Australia and Australian provided means you have Australian wide coverage for your support and warranty, either through us or through those specific suppliers uh, support network around, around Oz. 
So you can see why this is a fully equipped, really, really cool camper trailer and perfectly suited for your off-grid adventures. So you've probably popped onto this video and checked out this walkthrough because you're interested in the awesome ensuite setup that we had. You gotta agree with me, it is so much more than that. From the pop-top version of the Marlu Tourer through to the full height version, whether it's the Marlu Standard or the Marlu Tourer, we've definitely got something for you. So come and check out the Marlu at one of our dealerships around Australia. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Shoot us an email if you've got any questions about these camper trailers. Love to show you through.